Back in the summer of 2021, I had told you about a house fire that was about midway between my house and XJO81X's house. Uh, it's scary when it's kind of close to home like that. Uh, what we're seeing here is a still image from a video I'm going to run for you just to refresh your memory uh, of uh, after I got the Bluix brakes redone, uh, the master cylinder replaced and everything was working fine. So I took it for a test drive. I'll answer your question now. What's going on with the Bluix? It's still here. Haven't driven it in 2022. It just was not a good year. Hopefully 2023 is going to bring a lot better luck. So uh, hopefully with any luck, we'll have an update on it then sometime during the year. I don't know when, but getting back to the house fire, here we are. And let me go ahead and roll this footage back from August of 2021. So I, I, I just go for my walk at night and uh, shit. Now you see this up ahead, the blue? That's a house that caught fire. It's about halfway between me and XJO81X. You can see what's left of it over there. The wooden straps on the tarp. I'll take you past that and we'll loop back around. I guess they're getting a roof done up there. Oh yeah, this is going great. Look at this fucking Jeep. Too many cars here and this thing is a boat here's the house the house next door the siding melted off so that's nice at the end of december of 2021 uh there was another house fire in that video, I took the big six out and uh, went past this house that I just showed you, not counting that next one, which we're going to get to a little bit later, and showed you that it has been knocked down. So here was the footage from the end of December of 2021 showing no more house there. And you saw in the back where there was the blue tarp and all of that on the back of the house that we saw right past this fence here. And no, there's a house there. I don't know if you can make it out. And a house there, which has blue on the chimney. I guess they never got the siding fixed, but there's no blue tarp there. So let's go over there. I'll get out of the car because it's kind of rainy-ish and that. And uh, we'll take a look at a big hole in the ground. Yep, a big hole in the ground. That is what is here. So after all of that, they knocked it down. That was odd. Did they finally determine it was just a total loss and that was it? I don't know. They still have that on the side of their house where the siding melted. How, why, what, I don't know, but you can just see the what's left of the foundation in there, all that. So it was knocked down. All the, like these plants in front of that house, for example, you're familiar, you come home, they look the same. Even the plants are gone now. Everything was just totally taken out. So that's scary. As the title suggests, life begins anew in 2023. I happened to know about this for some time, just never got past there with a camera and decided to uh, record it. Today is January 4th, 2023, and it was like an unprecedented 60 degrees out. So I said, I'm going for a walk and I will take the phone with me 
and just grab a couple of snapshots and do a voiceover as I'm doing right now. So here we are now in 2023. Take a look. There is an entire new house framed out and built up. It needs a lot of work yet. We're looking at this from around the corner, kind of around back of it. And yes, the house next door does have an air conditioner through the window for the air conditioner twerps out there. Let's go over to the front of the house now and I'll show you what it looks like. Not the greatest shot by any means, but a shot nonetheless. I try to be very surreptitious when I take these photos because it's kind of none of my business, but uh, it kind of still is some of my business. So there it is, your typical house nowadays, your uh, McMansion type house like that. Um, is it built to the same standards as the original house? No way, no how, that's for sure. But what we're going to do now is just know that at least something has been going on. And there is life that is beginning anew. This started in 2022, XJO81X told me. But uh, I just got around to uh, getting a picture of this now. So anyway, that's enough on this house. Now we're going to go to the one that was a block away from me uh, back in the end of December 2021. On December 28th, 2021, there was a house fire a block away from me. And I caught it while it was still in progress. It was being knocked down or mostly knocked down at that point. But anyway, here is the footage from that. You can see the house still on fire, smoke coming out of it, stuff like that. Here it is. Oh yeah, that's the house. There's still smoke coming out of it. The guy's in there with a flashlight. down the other house I guess or I can't tell if that's the same one a lot of smoke the next day December 29th 2021 I took you for a quick drive past there this was the very next day there were a lot of people there so I really couldn't have gotten the shot I wanted to uh, again, it's not really my business to be taking pictures or video of this, but anyway, you get what you get. So here is the footage from the drive-by from December 29th of 2021. I wanted to get you a really nice shot of this, but there's a million people here still, probably family members or, or something. So I'm just going to have to show you out through the car. I wanted to stop. You see all these people up ahead. And the house is coming up on the right, obviously. Just so you can see, it's all boarded up. The front is completely burnt to a crisp. Once again, Today, January 4th, 2023, life begins anew. So, it was a nice day out, and I decided to take a walk past. And finally, after all this time, there is some slight progress. The burninated house is the one to the right of the McMansion. And here we are coming down the block. You can still see it's boarded up and burnt up. And here is what the house looks like today uh, as i said life begins anew the truck that is in front of there there are some people in fact that you can see there and they are carting away debris that is inside i would have thought that that would have been done already and whatever contents of the house would have been taken out but i guess not uh, that's really scary that it took all the way from the end of 2021 till the beginning of 2023. That's basically, for all intents and purposes, a full year for anything to actually happen. I hope this never happens to anyone. This is probably one of the most devastating things that could ever, 
ever happen. Be safe, be careful, don't play with matches, and all that other great stuff that goes along with it. And hopefully, with any luck, none of the China Metronics in your house will blow up and keep everything safe and sound for a happy and healthy homestead. I just wanted to give you this update of everything that's been going on. That's going to wrap this up. So I thank you very kindly for watching, and I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.